Hi, welcome to your new StarCraft Superlight 242RL. We're going to give you a brief orientation of your new trailer in hopes that it will help you on your way. We're going to start at the front. First thing we'll note at the front here is the battery storage, battery box, and the battery inside. Next we'll move to your propane system. Uh, here we have your crossover regulator. Uh, this arrow will indicate which tank it's drawing from. Right now it's drawing from here. Uh, in the event that this runs out, it'll automatically draw from this tank here without you having to adjust this. Hence the crossover. The other thing that I would note at the front is your electric tongue jack, complete with a nice loading light feature. Uh, there is a fuse, so if it stops working, this fuse could be the culprit. It's a 30 amp fuse. Uh, if that still doesn't solve it, there's a rubber stopper here that can be removed. Uh, and through that port, you can use the uh, manual uh, crank that is found in the front storage compartment. Also, on this unit we have the breakaway control. This breakaway control will engage the trailer brakes in the event that your trailer becomes disengaged from your tow vehicle. Uh, sometimes if you find that the uh, brakes are sticking on, you might try pushing this pin in. Sometimes they can be pulled out just a little wee bit and that's enough to engage the trailer brakes. So that would be the first place I'd look. Moving along the outside here. Come to switch inside. That turns on these front running lights. See the inside of the storage compartment. This one is loaded up with some personal gear, so I won't zoom in too much, but just indicate the spray hose and your stabilization jacks. There's four of them located in each corner of the trailer. They're to be used to stabilize the trailer, not to level it. So next, we'll come to the docking station. Got a few things that you can uh, to be noted here. First, we have a connection point for that spray out nozzle or hose that was in the uh, front compartment. We also have a light. We have a connection for your water pump. This diagram will actually show you exactly what everything does. This can be used uh, to fill your water tank, your fresh water tank or as your city water connection. Right now it's set up for the city water connection. That position would uh, fill the tank if your hose was connected here. We have a flush, tank flush for your black water here. You have your cable input or satellite input. That's about it. And this handy little kickstand to hold the door open if you need it. Here we have the low point drain for your fresh water tank as well as the output for your black water. Here we have your black water valve and your gray water valve. We'll continue along the outside of the trailer. Come along to the back and the park power supply. Your 30 amp park power supply and your included 30 foot, 30 amp cord that is plugged in. You have your ladder for roof access. And then we also have your awning with awning lights. We have a small rear storage compartment. Here we have a spray port, so that same spray hose can be connected here. as well as your uh, potable water or your uh, fresh water tank uh, fill port here. 
if you uh, do not wish to use the one on the other side. We also have a GFC plug. And we also have the venting for your fridge as well as the drain. So this is the drain right here, this little piece hanging down. You want to make sure that it is outside the trailer at all times as this is where the water will drain from the con condensation. It's also good to make sure that this remains unblocked at all times as this is there's venting here that is needed for the uh, proper operation of the fridge. So next we come to your outside access to your hot water tank. We have your drain plug and your pressure relief valve. And we'll move on to the other side of your front storage compartment. And the most notable is just below it, we have your solar panel ready, solar panel connection right here. So now we'll move into the inside of the trailer and see what we have in here for you. First thing we notice as soon as we go in the door, you have your thermostat. It's a capacitive touch button, meaning you don't really have to press it hard. Nice light touch. Turns it on. We have the fan auto. You can turn on high or low. We have the AC just kicked on. You can turn it up high or low. Furnace and then off. Next, down here, we have the fire extinguisher for your trailer. Then we have the controls for your slide, your awning, the awning lights, and the main lights for the trailer. We also have your indication panel, your battery, fresh water, black water, and gray water tanks as well as your hot water here on gas and electric and your water pump so moving in to the main portion of the trailer here you notice we have your tv we have your stereo system speakers uh, the stereo system has two zones, zone one and zone two. Zone one will be the speakers inside the trailer. Zone two will be the speakers that are actually located on your awning outside. That way you can play music in here, but you can also play it outside under your awning. Here we have your refrigerator. And of note, we have the off and on. We have the button here that switches between auto and gas. If this light comes on, then the there's something wrong with your gas supply. It could just be the valves aren't open, uh, and that would indicate you need to check your uh, gas system. We have burner hot burners simply turn to the light position spark same with here turn to the light position spark turn to the light position spark when you first turn on the gas it might take a few turns to get it to work properly next we have your oven same idea turn it to the light position the only difference here is, is once it's in the light position, you press and hold the knob in, then you turn the sparker or the igniter right here. Next thing to note is your carbon monoxide smoke detector, uh, carbon monoxide, sorry, and propane detector. There's a button on the front here. It's a good idea to press it, I would say every six months or so, or whenever you change the batteries in your smoke detector. 
that just to make sure it's functioning properly. We also have your control panel here. We have your breakers and fuses. Of note, what's in here? we have your water pump. So if you're going to winterize yourself, it's probably easiest to take this drawer out to do it. And here we'll notice that we have these little tabs. On this side, you pull the tab up. And on this side, you push the tab down. You do both at the same time, then you can pull the drawer out. And there you can have access to your water pump. And once you have access to your water pump, you will see that this valve here is uh, either in summer mode or winter mode. If it's in line with the uh, the plumbing going to towards the tank, then it's in uh, summer mode. It's going to draw from the tank. If it's in line with the uh, fill hose, um, then it's going to draw from your antifreeze to winterize the trailer. So next we have your smoke detector. There's a button in the center. It's a good idea to press that every once in a while to make sure it's functioning properly. Um, I would also do your uh, propane and uh, carbon oxide detector, like I said earlier, uh, whenever you change the, the 9 volt battery in your smoke detector. Also here we have your dining table. These legs can be removed. You can set the tabletop on these four, four ledges here and you'll have some extra sleeping for any guests. This panel, there's two Red Robertson screws on either side. This can be removed and that will gain you access to the inside uh, of your hot water tank, uh, which is important uh, as there are bypass valves there. Okay, so we're moving on. So your bathroom, pretty standard bathroom. We have switch for the light, switch for the fans. We have a uh, travel lock for your uh, shower door when you're traveling. Just loop it over so they won't move around, slam open and shut, possibly break. We also have the GFCI for the trailer. If at any for any reason your some of your electrical isn't working and you've checked your panel and all the fuses and breakers are good, I would come here and check this. Uh, if you're having some electrical issues, it could be that that the that the GFCI is tripped. So you just need to press the reset button here. All right, into the uh, bedroom we go. Of note, in here is your. Emergency exit. To engage, you simply push down on this black tab, lift up the red tab, pull the handle straight, and then push it right out of the trailer. You can pull this red tab, remove the screen, and you may escape to safety. You'll also note that you have a hookup for a TV if you choose to mount one here. And usually, yep, there's a nice solid piece in here that you can uh, mount the TV to. Another weird, neat, kind of neat little feature is this little access panel that actually gives you access to your front storage compartment. The last thing I want to show you is on your air conditioning. When you have the air conditioning on, if the little louver doors here are open, most of the majority of your air, if not all, is going to come right from the unit overhead. If you close those louver doors, that will force the air to the ports around the trailer, one here, here, in the bathroom, and in the bedroom. 
Well, that about does it for your uh, orientation. I know it was brief and you may have more questions. If you do, feel free to give us a call. Otherwise, I hope this helps get you started on uh, many adventures to come. Thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs>